you have to set it up exactly the way it's written without the vert without the vertical bars. Okay, yeah. so x minus two equals three. That's equation. And sometimes one. we're trying to get like a case one, case two. That's what we're doing here. This is case yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Case two. You don't have okay, to yeah. write that. I know this is for sure on it because I remember doing this. Okay. Second case is the same left hand side, but it's a negative of the number. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so so good. You've got it. This has to be really clear, really, you know, straightforward. You get it down. You got it good. It's exactly yeah. what you see without the vertical bars. Yeah. Okay. Then the only change is the right hand side is negative. Okay. okay. So they, what what is this called? Solving absolute value equations. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now, like what I have here at last line, like you're supposed to know how to do this. You, you, you have enough skills. You've seen this before. You're supposed to readily be able to solve something like this. Yeah. And, and it's, it's actually always the same steps. Like you're going to add two there. You're going to add two there. You're adding two to both sides of the equation. Yeah. So X equals five. X equals minus one. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. So let's do another one like that. Wait, can let's, I get the rest? Oh, sorry, sorry. I no, you're good, you're good. Okay, cool. All right. Now, let's give you one like it here. Let's say it's absolute value of x plus 3 equals 2. So again, you have to write case 1. x plus 3 equals Two. two and then case two is almost identical except it's x plus three equals negative two yes and then add or subtract three subtract three x equals a negative one and then subtract three subtract three x equals negative five good okay so now we're going to increase the difficulty slightly yeah Absolute value 2x plus 1 equals 3. Okay, still two cases, still two, you know, type 1 and type 2. Like you said, 2x plus 1 equals 3, 2x plus 1 equals negative 3. So these are now two step equations, and you have to be able to solve these uh, on your own. You have to be comfortable with, with being able to solve them from here. Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and try that for me, please. If you have questions, let me know. I'm just looking for some more practice. Would I, uh, would I start with 2x? So the, the answer is, it goes back to this. When you're solving, you go this direction. Okay. And that's what you're doing now. You're solving, solving, so solving. Negative three. And... You, you undo addition and subtraction okay. on the side with the x. So, so what is, I would start at 2x, I would do 2x minus 2x. No. Uh, so you, on the side on the side with the x, there's multiplication by 2 and addition by 1. Yeah. Which do you undo first? Addition. Mm -hmm. So you undo the plus 1 by subtracting 1. Yeah. Okay. Then you undo the multiplication by division. Mm -hmm. So x equals one. Try solving the other one for me, please. Okay. I got x equals negative two. Yes. Very good. Okay, let's try another one. Okay. All right, uh, absolute value of uh, 2x minus 3 equals 7. Give me the first equation. Okay, so, so the 
the first one is 2x minus 3 equals 7. Can yeah. you tell me what the other one is? Mm -hmm. uh, 2x minus 3 equals negative 7. Good. I'd like you to try solving these on your own, please. Okay. Got x equals five and x equals negative two. Yes, very good. Okay, now uh, what's really important for you to see, I'm gonna actually go back to the beginning of this lesson and, and highlight something. Do you see that in all the problems we've worked out, the absolute value has been the only thing on the left side of the equation? Yeah. So that's, that's rarely the case, okay? Um, that's just not going to be the case. So now we're going to look at problems where it's not the only thing there. Okay. okay. So I'll give you, I'll give you a first example here. Um, let's go minus four times absolute value X plus three equals minus 28. Okay. okay. So, so what you, you have to, what you have to be able to do as, as a student is you, you almost want to look at this really as the following minus four. I'm going to use uh, a different letter. I'm going to use a U big U, this is how you want to look at it. Like you don't even look at the absolute value. Okay. How do you get, how do you get this variable by itself? How do you undo the multiplication by minus four? Uh, division. You divide both sides by minus four. Okay. Now so that's how would I know not to minus uh, four? Well, it's, it's implied. Which I, yeah. It's like an assumption. You usually do what like will make the number smaller. It, it it you have to know that because they're squeezed together, like it's the type it's the type setting of it. Okay. Uh, it it's like when you pronounce words, like you know why is why is your name pronounced the way it is? Why is my name pronounced the way it is? Because we know that when we squeeze them together, like that's what the letters mean. You have to know that these this means multiplication. The other way to look at it is like there's do you see an addition to the right yeah like like the operator the plus and the minus so what should i write as a note like if you see that you know to divide yes you're going to divide but it, it but it's because you you and you understand that this is multiplying it yeah and and what i was trying to say is like this negative out in front is not the operator yeah the operator is to the right of the number yeah. Okay, so then. So you, you divide both of these by minus four. Yeah, yeah. All right, and, and only the number on the outside, like it does not impact what's here. So it's absolute yeah. value X plus three equals seven. Yeah, okay. And then you stuck at the problems we just did. Yeah. So could you and try solving this case one, case two? Yeah, can you try, can you solve the rest of this? Yeah, here? yeah, I got you. Okay. X plus three equals seven. X plus three equals negative seven. Then we'll subtract three, subtract three. X equals 10, negative 10. And three. X equals four and X equals, wait, negative 10 and four, yeah. Yeah, you got it. Okay, so let's look at another one kind of like this, all right? Let's go, let's go seven, absolute value, 10 plus two X equals 98. Okay, so, so you have to, you have to see that this seven, there's, there's not a plus or a minus where my cursor is, there's nothing that, 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 space indicates that it's multiplying so wait what do you mean what do you mean by multiplying 
the seven is multiplying this absolute value. What? How do you, yeah. how would I know that? <laughs> well, it's like seven times X. You can write it as Oh, seven. there would be the time symbol there? Well, the, it's not written in the problem. It's just, uh -huh. it's, it's a type setting, meaning it's just the way the, the fonts, you know, merge together. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now let's just say it was negative seven equals negative 98. It is still multiplying. Okay. So you have to divide both sides by minus seven. Yeah. So this becomes absolute value 10 plus 2x equals uh, 14. Okay, so can you... Uh, Ooh, I thought you, you were saying you multiply 7 and 10 and 2x. Nope, nope. No. Let's go back up and look. Oh, oh, that that's what I was confused on. I thought you were... Okay, my bad, my bad. Please, yeah, please ask if it's unclear. Yeah, yeah. I, it, I thought you were doing like it completely different. We were multiplying 7 and 98. No, no. Okay, uh, my bad. No. So I'd like you from here, absolute value 10 plus 2x equals 14. Case one, case two, solve those. Let me know if you have questions okay. to do that. I'm a little stumped too. Okay. So this one's, I mean, it's written slightly differently. That's why I you know, wanted to see if you could do it. The the 10, the 10 is positive. Yeah, yeah. So you undo positive 10 by subtracting 10 from both sides. Yeah. And notice like it's the same in both equations. So this becomes 2x equals 4. On the right here, it's 2x equals minus 24. Yeah. Now what do you do? Um. Then you just. Oh, I thought we always start with. Okay, that's my mistake. I tried to subtract two x. I don't know why. Well, you've done that a few times. Again, you you always undo addition and subtraction before multiplication and division. Yeah. You know, if if it were like stubbing your toe on the you know the end of the bed, you would stop doing it, right? But because yeah, there's yeah. no pain, there's no like pain <laughs> exposure to pain here. It's, like you have to think of it that way you know if you ever, you ever walked into a wall in the middle of the night it's pretty pretty awful so we we want we want you to do it uh this way yeah and then yeah okay my bad. so look so you know you're in luck here there are more problems to do <laughs> so uh, you get some more practice here all right let's look at another situation here let's say it's uh absolute value x plus four divided by seven. See how the divided by seven is outside of the absolute value? Equals two, okay. You you first look at this with like, like you almost treat the absolute value of x plus four like it's a it's a number, like, or it, yeah. like it's a thing. It's you just, but how do you undo division by seven? Um, you multiply. Multiply both sides by seven so this is like if a problem was like this yes okay 
So if there's a number in front, you divide. If there's a number down below, you multiply. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, uh, on the left, left, the sevens cancel. Gone. On the right, you multiply. X plus 4 plus 14. Right, equals yeah. 14. Yeah. So could you yeah. solve from here? Could you figure out what this... Yeah. X equals negative 10 and... Try again. The negative 10 is not correct. Well, X equals 10. X equals negative 10. It equals 10, but not negative 10. No, I know, but then the next one. Yeah, what's the next one? Negative 10. Okay. So let's just write out the two equations here so you can see it. Some sort of a sign error somewhere. X plus 4 equals 14. X plus 4 equals minus 14. Yeah. So I agree. When you subtract 4, you get X equals 10. Oh, my God. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Wait. On the other one, oh, though. you add it. Sorry. Negative 18. Yeah. Yeah, I was rushing that. Okay, let's try another one here. Absolute value of 2X over 3 equals 6. Okay. How do you undo division to start the problem? You multiply by three. Multiply both sides by three, yeah. Cancel so, out. So you have the absolute value of 2x equals what number? Uh, 18. 18, very good. All right. Now, from here, you're going to write your two cases. Try solving it from here. Okay. Got X equals eight. And x equals negative 20. So it's 2x equals 18 is case one. Did you write that? Yeah. 2x equals minus 18 is case two. Did you write that? Maybe. Yes, Oh, no. my gosh, dude. Why did I write 2x equals 10 on one of them? Um, so it would be 16. Sorry, x equals 16. Well, before you before you answer, what is the two doing to the x? What's the math operation when they're squeezed together? What? Like what, what? What is the math operation between the two and the x when they're squeezed, squeezed together? Uh, oh, you, do you divide it? These are multiplying, so yes, you undo with with division. Why do we uh, subtract sometimes then? When there's a number off to the side, so. Oh. So you forget any steps. So then you divide it. X equals nine. And X equals negative nine. Yes. Okay, so like like a little a little literacy math literacy here. When you see this on the left, you have to read it as two times x okay yeah. this is two plus x okay and, and these are these are very different do you see how one has a plus operator yeah this does nothing but it's like a little space sometimes they're squeezed really close together that this i call oh, it the yeah squeeze. when it's the two x but there's no plus operator that's that's a multiple yes yes now, to answer your question, you, you asked a really important question. Okay, so let's say it's 3x uh, plus 4 equals uh, 16, okay? The question is, which do you undo first, the multiplication by 3 on the x or the addition by 4? The answer comes from the order of operations, 
when you're going backwards, you undo addition and subtraction first. Yeah. So what, what do you undo first here? Addition with subtraction. So with subtraction it says so that that was that was the answer to your question, you know, from two minutes ago is well, when do I subtract? Well, when you're undoing addition. When do I add when you're undoing subtraction? When do you divide when you're undoing division? Yeah. Okay, let's try another problem here. Last okay. one probably for today. Let's go uh 2x minus 1 absolute value over negative 3 equals negative 1. So you cancel out the 3, and then you do negative 1 times 3. Negative 3 times negative, negative 3. Negative 3 times 3, which yes. is just negative 3. Well, they're both negative, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, positive 3. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. And so it becomes two x minus one equals three. Three. Write the two cases. Two x minus eleven equals three. Minus one. Minus one. Oh. Wait. Oh yeah. No. No. I was saying two x minus one. Okay. I heard eleven, and uh, don't want. You I know. I wrote the lines too close, and I said left. <laughs> and then equals three negative three. And then would you start with the one, right, by adding? Yes, yes. Okay, then you add one to three. Two x uh, equals four. And then you divide by two. And then you get x equals two. And then the next one, you add uh, one positive, I mean, two, negative two, two x equals two two x equals negative one good 